This family in North Wales have been living in temporary accommodation for nearly two years. You just can't settle, you can't unpack anything. You just can't, because you don't know when you're going to be out. We could be in here for three years, we could be in here for one more day, we don't know. In early 2017, they were given notice to leave their home when the landlord decided to sell. They couldn't find another affordable home for the whole family, so they turned to the local authority. For the following six months, the father, mother and their teenage children were moved between B&Bs, hotels and caravans. Since December 2017, they've been put in this house, but with a contract stating that it's not a secure tenancy. We want to settle, don't get me wrong, we love it here, but, you know, we can't get attached. If they could tell us tomorrow morning, you're out, very unfair. No one should be treated that way. No one should be treated that way, no, no one at all. Under Wales's Housing Act, local authorities will help people if they're at risk of being homeless, placing them in temporary accommodation until more permanent housing is found. We asked local authorities in Wales how long people were spending in this temporary accommodation. The average was 74 days. But at least three local authorities in Wales had instances where people had spent at least a thousand days in so-called temporary accommodation. More than 4,000 people were put into temporary accommodation in Wales last year at a cost of nearly £10 million. A third of those are placed in B&Bs. At the moment, people are stuck in temporary accommodation for three or four years because there's no affordable accommodation for them to move into. Um, so we need to build more social housing so that there's more affordable accommodation out there. And we need to look again at welfare reforms because those are pricing people out of the market and then people are stuck in temporary accommodation. The Welsh Government says it's working to reduce the need for temporary accommodation through tackling homelessness and providing more affordable and social housing. It also points to a record £1.7 billion investment, aiming to deliver 20,000 affordable homes by 2021. But for this family in North Wales, the answers are needed sooner rather than later. It's so hard. It just crushes you, basically. What do you hope for the future? To be in a proper house where we can be normal and be ourselves again.